Before learning how AND gates work, it's pretty important that you understand the basics of how gates work in general. If you're interested, I've done up a quick tutorial that covers the basics which is available here. All iron, gold and diamond gates will have both AND as well as OR variations. This is clearly stated in the gate's name. On top of that, they're also colour coded. AND gates are black, OR gates are white. AND gates require that multiple detected events be occurring simultaneously before responding to them. So for example, this gate is set to detect two separate events. The first event will occur if the engine is at the blue stage, and the second event will occur if the engine has items in its inventory. If both of these events are held at the same time, it's set to switch the engine on by activating the gate's inbuilt redstone signal. So currently, the engine is at the blue stage, and the gate has recognised that as shown by the red line here on the interface. But there are no items in the inventory just yet, so the gate hasn't switched the engine on. As soon as items are in the engine's inventory, the gate switches it on. As soon as the engine heats up to the green stage, the gate will power it off. It will still most likely have items in the inventory, and of course the gate will recognise that, again shown by the red line, but the first condition that the engine must be at the blue stage is no longer occurring. Therefore, the gate will switch the engine off until it cools back down to the blue stage. All gates are closely related to AND gates, however their detection logic is slightly different. A tutorial on OR gates is available here for anyone that's interested. 